Okay. As you know, we are a site that does videos on things. Requests. On requests. From people. From real life people. Well, this person, we know her real well. I do, at least. I don't know about Megan. Not really. Fair lover. But, um, we, she requested that we do this video on, or a video on gay marriage. And, um, that's what we're doing. We're going to do a video on gay marriage because... It's awesome. I don't care what anybody says. It is awesome. We are supporters and you know we're gonna say what we think is correct which we think that's correct but um whoever thinks gay is weird or just oh there's a lollipop and um <laughs> whoever thinks gay is I like mean, we don't we'll give you your right to say what you think but give us our right to say what we think exactly okay we have a whole bunch of gay friends like i mean like just everybody that's at the mall practically we love we love them to death and i mean to tell you the truth, I don't really see anything wrong with it because it's their choice. The people that's against it has no right to do whatever they want to. It's like to like say that it's wrong or that it's a sin in a Christian religion or whatever. I know it might be a sin, but I mean, you don't <laughs> see any God killing anyone because they're gay. You don't see him doing anything to them, do you? Exactly. And plus, another thing that I don't get is that if God didn't want them to be gay, then he wouldn't have made them like that because because exactly. isn't isn't god supposed to be like the one that makes us all like who we are and oh 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 and um it's not that we don't believe in god we just don't think he's as great as he is <laughs> yeah i mean like i i mean i believe in him i just it's just that today y'all are just maybe you're the ones who are saying what he thinks maybe he thinks something else exactly I mean, because we all have our own vision of God, which is, like, some people believe in Buddhism, some people believe in Christian, Baptist, Catholics. I mean, then to tell you the truth, I think that the religion of back then, like in 80, um, like 200 AD or whatever it is, like back then is a greater religion than what it is now. Because if you think about it, over the time and over the years and whatnot, people change it. To make it sound like God Almighty is going to strike you with lightning if you do one, one sin wrong. It's like, um, it's like, we're, we're going to go on the theory with, uh, Chris Crockett, right? I think that's his name. Chris Crocker. Crocker, whatever. And, uh, we're going to say, or at least I'm going to say that the Bible was written by the government. I think that's true. Because... Aren't they the ones who advertise it anyways? Ooh, think about it. Oh. <laughs> and I mean, we're not dissing anybody that's like totally down to earth with God and like is like, like he's like my everything and that you live for him and stuff like that. We totally respect that because that's y'all's choice and that's y'all's like prerogative. And you know what? And that brings us to what we were talking about in the first place. That's also gay people's life, and that's also gay people's prerogative. You don't see people like, y okay, y'all get like yelled at like almost all the time because y'all get doubted on, and y'all get oh oh. And another thing, gay people, please don't be afraid to tell people that you're gay. Be open, because there's someone else, probably someone else, that's hiding being gay too. And if you open up to it then they're gonna be able to see that since you have the strength to do it then they can too but like i was saying christians that are like all down believers that god is their life and all kind of stuff like that <clears throat> y'all get doubted on every day y'all get asked so many questions y'all get teased y'all get i mean like there's there's barely any of y'all like that and just to think about it gays are like the same way yeah I mean, okay, they get teased at school, they get called faggots and dykes and lesbos and I mean there's so many names that it just doesn't make any sense. It's their life, it's their prerogative and that's who they are. Why should you have something to say about it? Exactly, I mean, it really makes no sense to me as to why like everyone, why this is such a big deal. Because I mean, if you look there's everywhere you look there's a gay person just about everywhere i mean dude the first lady bush's wife is gay 
Well, I'm sure he's not, they're not together anymore, but, you know, hey. Doesn't that give you an idea of how much respect you should put into it? I mean, because if you think about it, okay, a lot of people gave that woman respect just because she was the first woman of the, like, she was like the first lady of government. She stood up for what she was right, and just because she was the president's wife didn't mean anything. She stood up for what she believed in, and y'all believed in her no matter what. Just because, and then she came out that she was gay. She is still the same person, just with something else. Just because she's gay doesn't mean that it changes the whole fact of who she is. That's how everybody is. Some guys take gay to another level and tease girls about it, which I think is hilarious. Because then, you know, they're the ones that end up being going to Canada and marrying some guy. <laughs> Very hot ones, too. And, like, if you really think about it, then, okay, just think of it this way. Think about something that you really believe in. And think about other people, like, one person to a million getting teased about it every day. Can you really imagine how they feel? And nine times out of ten, the gay people are the ones that y'all call emos and gothics and... That's because you tease them and, you know, they're all like, uh, yeah, it's, it's not because that, like, stuff like people saying oh they're so emo they're just gonna cut them they don't do it for no reason they do it for a reason you have to think about that reason and i mean it's not always just to kill themselves people think that just because somebody's emo that means that they want to kill themselves no that's not the case all the time it's just in my opinion it's just it's a way to get away from the world whenever you cut or whenever you just want to like just be who you are it's just a way to like, I don't know, like express, just express the way you feel because most of the time you can't tell someone else how you feel. Cause there's nobody in this world that you can really trust. Well, like there is, but they, you know it's kind of hard to find them. Exactly. Like I was lucky. I found like, I found three people that I can truly trust. I was one of the lucky ones. <laughs> and I mean, not pe- people like that people aren't really lucky like that and so you really have to think about what kind of hell are they going through to make them even think about cutting themselves and I mean it's not always cutting themselves I'm talking about like drugs and alcohol makes you wonder why I mean you can't just be addicted to something I mean you have to be there has to be a reason why you're addicted there's got to be a reason why you were driven to it exactly because I mean if you go to Louisiana mall home of Louisiana mall and you look around 90% 90% of them kids that are in there, or I know they don't like to be labeled. Have or did do drugs or have or were emo or stuff like that. Stuff like that. And you, it, you really do. I mean, you're only going to two people who were. <laughs> you really do have to think about, okay, before I even tease this person or before I even think twice about how I'm going to put them down or whatever, what kind of hell did they go through to even make them think about being who they are and we're not trying to change the world and we're not trying to change your perspective about who you want to be or who you're teasing or whatever it's just that sometimes you really need to think about what you're doing before you do it because you have no effect what kind of you have no idea what kind of effect they can that can have on somebody's life yeah has a big effect all right so we've covered gay (laughs) emo uh, and a couple of other things in this video. We just, this is about what it's mostly going to be. And we'd really appreciate it if y'all gave us more topics. And I mean, it could be funny topics. It could be serious topics like this. I mean, most of the time, we hope that we actually get some fun ones. But, I mean, seriously, we're doing this because of serious stuff. <laughs> All right, so give us y'all comments on this video. Let us know what you really think. Do not, like... Sugar it up. Do not. It's not gonna hurt our feelings or whatever. We're not gonna delete you off our MySpace just because you put something mean. Actually, we really, in fact, we'll probably add more people so we can see what they think too. Exactly. Know. We just really want to get the world's opinion just to make them see how we think. Well, that's it for us and ranters are us. So we'll catch y'all later.